Hey guys, and today we're going to take a look at Kuro, hum, Kuro, hum, Kuro, 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 o, o, Arama, the red guy. We're going to take a look at the red guy. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Rounded Tic Tac here, and I know, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in Fortnite Save the World currently. Uh, a lot of my views mirror Demon Joe's. I will link his video down below. I've been asked in separate channels and I asked and I polled the community and all of that information I have brought to the community managers to the best of my ability. You are not being ignored. You are being heard. They just It's impossible to listen to 200,000 people. Uh, so I'm doing my best to bring your thoughts and mine into the proper hands. If you guys want to know kind of what I feel like, check out Demon Joe's video down link down below. He his ideas mirror a lot of my own and I feel it'd be kind of redundant to do so, but I promise you there is communication going on and they want our feedback. Now on to Kurohama Ruvarurura. Uh the new outlander that you can get from playing Battle Breakers, the AFK clickable game that is currently free on Epic Games. All you have to do is get to level 50. Razor was 20 and she's an awesome hero. I cannot wait to try this guy out. I haven't even played him yet, so I'm very, very excited. He looks awesome and his perks seem pretty damn cool too. Now with the buff to ability damage, our hero ability damage modifiers are all the way up to 21.2. This is one of the higher end ability modifiers you can get in the game, so this guy is definitely going to pack a wallop. He has seismic smash, phase shift, and shock tower. And just let's take a, take a quick look at him. Uh, he reminds me of like Sun Wukong a little bit or maybe, you know, uh, Ni Jia from uh, Chinese mythology. He's really, really cool. Uh, I like him a lot. I really hope he plays well. Seismic Smash is an ability that is very underrated and it is very powerful. If you play the proper heroes, you can do a lot of damage with uh, and have a lot of survivability and a lot of crowd control. There's Frost Queen, there's the Pizza Delivery Boy, there's a ton of heroes that work really well with this. But his is unique. Seismic Stun. Seismic Smash applies a 3.3 second stun and a one and 1500 impact. Sorry, I messed that English up. Uh, but this is just his standard perk. His commander perk is Seismic Smash applies a 3.3 second stun, 1500 impact, and additionally, Seismic Smash deals 35 base uh, fire damage every second for three seconds. That's not amazing damage, but it's not bad at all. I never got around to reviewing Razor just because there's too many things to cover, but I wanted to be one of the first people to bring you this guy. 35% or 35 base damage scaling isn't terrible. Razor is much higher at like 90 or something along those lines, but it's not bad. 35 is something along the lines of... So, extermination on support is around that level. So, it's not going to be bad. It's not going to be bad. It's not going to be amazing, but it's not going to be bad. But that's okay because Seismic Smash in itself is a really, really good ability. Let's go make a hero build. So the first build we're going to run is a complete and utter seismic smash build. We're going to be playing Kuro and basically just do our best to survive with bio energy source as soon as I can find it. There it is. So bio energy source because seismic smash and phase shift are on very short cooldowns allowing a lot of spam ability to keep your shield up totally rocking out does not work with seismic smash or really any outlander abilities that make sense so we're gonna use bio energy source if you want a little more tankiness you can always go blast from the past ghoulish cackle it gives us 37.5 percent uh missing health damage which is fantastic on our abilities and that's all of them return to sender from ragnarok is a great ability and you know it causes it to hit twice space technology seismic smash is always energy damage so we're looking at another 15.5 four on the floor not a great ability not the best ability but i just want this to be focused on one thing and then we'll try him in support as well and see how well that does and then the most important one is here is fault line when we try him as support this is going to be our main but in support uh he gives you 27 percent cooldown reduction so we're going to run into a mission uh me and a couple friends and we're going to do our best to see how well this works he has decent scaling but still it's not an ability you're using to kill smashers but we're still going to try to do it anyway yeah he doesn't have a voice pack that sucks all right let's see what this ability looks like exactly the same all right 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 what ah 
Damn, that's such a good ability. Holy shit. I love Seismic Smash. And it should be off cooldown again. Bop. Hits for 143,000 damage. I don't think Seismic Smash can crit, though. That's the issue. He's got such a good kit. Shockwave, Seismic Smash, and Face Shift. Damn! Not doing bad for a 132. I didn't even, I didn't see the affliction tick, but I think everything died. So let me try that again. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, man. A 48k affliction tick? That's so rare. They're usually like 6,000. Oh my god. Oh, this is an encampment! I died. Not sure that yeah. Yo, okay, this and this is with uh this is with healing death burst. It's pretty damn good. I mean, for what it is, right? I mean, for a seismic smash, I mean that's not terrible. If I drop my whole kit, how much damage would we end up doing here? And it is a fire smasher, and it's a fire affliction friggin' thing, so it's not really working to the best of our abilities. That's that's not bad, damage wise. I mean, there's better abilities, but. It also creates crowd control, which Dragon Slash does not. 168,000? 100, yeah, 168,000 with a 37,000 Affliction tick. For a total of like 160, 70, 80, 90. Like 210 maybe? 210,000 damage? Damn! I let him up right there. Pretty good. For this video so far is me inviting Mackers. God damn. Alright. What? <laughs> I said ha- I said half- I'm recording for a video right now, and I was like, half this video is me trying to invite you into a fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobin's talking crap about your, uh, paper pistol, Mago. He doesn't know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> that pistol is nuts, dude. That pistol is good. So, is that the new meta? Just slam the surround pad at the start of tunnels the whole time? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's ironic. That's- that's the meta, huh? Shit. I missed that note. Ah! Yo, this thing does damage. Holy hell, man. Seismic Smash. Yeah, this th and yeah he's, he's freaking aw- Oh, that's a lot of enemies. He's awesome looking, man. He doesn't have a voice pack yet, which sucks. Ow, ow, ow. It hurts. Oh, I should do even more damage because I got uh, Willow. How much am I hitting for now? 196,000. Jesus Christ, man. For Seismic Smash? It used to do like 76,000 damage. Do you have Vanguard, Southie? Yeah, I got, I got a whole, I have a complete and utter Seismic Smash build. Buffing all ability damage and uh, Seismic Smash. Vanguard Sally's so gonna be broke with that stun thing, it's like every 5 seconds. Ah! Get stunned, baby! Oh, no, 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 no! That's really not bad at all. I'm like, genuinely impressed with this goddamn ability. Not impressed with that, though. Not, not impressed with whatever the hell just happened to me. Oh, but we can freeze him! New assault rifle so meta. It's so. Wait, what's a word for like more than meta? What? Is? Meta times two. No, not meta. Is there? <laughs> there's a word. We couldn't even kill him. What the hell? There's a word for it though. What it? What is? Fourth wall breaking? I don't even know. Aim breaking? No, 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 no. So the second build we're going to be trying is a, uh, what's this dude's name? South, Southie, something Southie. We're going to try out Southie as the main commander. He's, in my opinion, the best Seismic Smash hero with a crazy, almost 70% cooldown on his Seismic Smash. And we're going to bring uh, the red dude, Big Red, into the support slot. That should provide us with uh, the impact and the stun on a six second cooldown, seven second cooldown, which could be really, really strong to deal with, you know, some of the new AI mechanics. It seems to be working on smashers and blasters and everything in between. So we're gonna give this a try and figure out which one we like better. So, how about, how about yesterday? Mackers, yesterday we... <laughs> <laughs> oh Yesterday we were doing Frost Knight, we're on wave like 16, we get past all the hard <laughs> waves, and I'm like, let me get a picture for the thumbnail. And then, apparently when I say that, everybody has to get a picture, so we just like leave the burner alone, I'm in first person <laughs> mode, and we fucking lose! We lose! Oh God. <laughs> What's the cooldown? So, on Vanguard Southie, let's see exactly what the cooldown is on the bottom right. 5 second cooldown for a 3 second stun. That's kind of insane. Uh, we're gonna go find a smasher and see how well it works against one of them. 
five second cooldown for a three second stun. That means there's only two seconds downtime. That's that's nuts, man. Vanguard South, he just became meta as hell. I got you, buddy. Ready? I missed. I kind of missed, not gonna lie. But a three second stun ain't too bad, and it's up again. There we go. There's a smasher near me. Alright. Nope! Knock it off. Are you gonna shoot at me? Stop it. <laughs> it does counter them. It absolutely destroyed him. Oh, it's a physical smasher. I'm in love. Let's do it. Quarter health? Quarter health ain't bad. I'm gonna let him hit me. And then... I'll let him beat me up a little bit. Can he hit me in the wall? He can. Come on. I don't know where he came from, but... I'm okay with it. There it is. That's right. Okay. Now we're low on health for Willow. And they kind of move, but decent damage regardless with a nice stun. 234,000 damage is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. Are you enjoying yourself, Mackers? I hope so. All right, so here we go, guys. We're starting some new trap tunnel designs. We're seeing what works and what doesn't. Uh, we are we have the red guy, Big Red, in support, so we should still have a three-second stun on a five-second cooldown and a glitch smasher who's not doing anything. But I'll take those cooldown numbers any day of the week. Uh, as long as you hit them slightly, uh, they do get stunned, which is fantastic. Coupled with the new assault rifle, let's see if we can stop them from actually charging. There we go. And just bop, hit them. 197,000 damage times two is not bad. And then we just burn them down with a little bit of uh, focused DPS. Another smasher on his way. Same kind of wave as last time, which is a good way to actually test something, believe it or not. We got him frozen. Team can focus him down because smashers are actually a threat, which is not bad, in my opinion. This is a nice little setup. Three second stun on a five second cooldown, plus a gun that can freeze. Uh, makes being a crowd control person something that's... A little unique and different in this game. Plus, the damage on it isn't bad by any means whatsoever. I'm actually, like, out of energy. Man, this new assault rifle. What was the word? Ultra meta? It's ultra meta? Is that what we came up with? Because we suck. S super, super ultra mega S meta. Super, super ultra... Mega meta. There you go. Super <laughs> ultra mega meta assault rifle. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm so dead. Oh, somebody healed me! I love you! Don't kill these guys. I- no, I died. Never mind. I failed. He's almost dead! Get a mega on the farmer! Yeah! Super mega meta meta! <laughs> My god, how much health do you have? Jesus Christ! How'd you die now? <laughs> I <got glitched>. <laughs> <laughs> Was it super ult super ultra super ultra, super ultra <laughs> mega meta <laughs> super ultra mega meta there you go guys big red the brand new outlander that you can get for being level 50 in battle breakers it's not too hard to do and the game is free there's not a huge learning curve or anything like that he's definitely someone you should pick up and have available to play with because he is super ultra mega meta a three second stun on a five second cooldown is insane coupled with the new assault rifle you're a crowd control bot and it's really fun to play as it's definitely a new unique twist on the outlander class Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like streams, I stream five days a week over at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac. We would love to have you as part of the family and part of the pack. I'm going to link Demon Joe's video down below. Like I said at the start, a lot of my opinions and thoughts mirror his. And if you guys want to know what that is, there you go. And lastly, if you're new to the channel and you like weapon breakdowns and videos like this, think about subscribing or maybe giving it a like. It really does help out the channel. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you think about Big Red. Tic-tac out.